going to be a Copic Basics class um, slash tutorial. Like I'm not, <laughs> you know what I mean. This is the um, is a color chart that I downloaded from um, CopicMarker.com forever ago when I first got my Copic markers, and then I started filling out the colors that I had. So as you saw in my previous video. Um, I can, I don't have to be testing all the colors when I get a reference image because I can put my cell phone right here and then see with, um, with clarity which color I might need. So for instance for Garfield, I think it was yellow or red 15. Oh, by the way, sorry I'm kind of sniffly today. My allergies are especially bad. Um, and as you can see, I have all of the sketch marker colors except for the toner grays, which until now I was just like, meh, but now I'm like, I am so close to having every single color. I might as well, you know, get them. Anywho, so um, this is, um, these are two pieces of Bristol board that I got, um, that I just cut down to this size because I figured I would make little bookmarks out of them or something like that. Um, because I was cutting down postcard sizes and then it turned out there was a little bit left over from the standard postcard sizes and I can't let good paper go to waste. So this is the Strathmore um, Smooth Bristol paper. For now I'll put this away and we're gonna get started. First things first that you need to know. The colorless blender is your friend. Can you see it? It says zero at the top. And it is quite useful. It's the only one whose refill I have in the giant tub thingy. Okay, so we're gonna get started with some gradients. To do a gradient, you need a few colors. Let's say I want to do a gradient with B23. B02. And B00. Now, an easy way to do this that you get the crisper lines would be to start off with a colorless blender square. So just take in the wet. Ooh, this one's dry. I need to refill it. I have another one for this reason. Fill a little length of paper. <laughs> so like I was saying, after you fill in this paper, and oh my gosh, like I love the smell of these markers. I like to start with the darkest shade, which usually is the higher number, and I'll dot it, and if you can see that it spreads a little because of the colorless blender underneath, it has a little bit of a feathering effect. So now fill the beginning portion, and then I will take the lightest color and fill the end. Really saturating that patch that was already colorless blendered. And then I will take the middle color, which is B02, and fill in the center. And this I will overlap with both of the other colors, um, the edges of the color, as you can see. And 
and then I'll go back with the lightest color and blend that edge. Lighter colors tend to lift darker colors. Um, if you know what lift means, it's like um, in watercolor. And then I'll go back with the darkest color and blend that edge a little bit. And as it dries, you can see it blends pretty well. Okay, let's say you don't have a colorless blender. So right underneath this one that we did use the colorless blender in, I will do one without. So I'll start with this side, which is the darker color. Some people will tell you that you must um, color it in like little circles. Um, I don't always follow that rule just because I don't think there's a need to, especially if I want like a hard edge, say I'm doing an Overwatch trading card and I want a hard shadow on Symmetra's face, then I won't color it in um, with, with circular motions. The faster you are, the better your shading will be. Just because then the colors won't have time to lift and blend um, or to, to dry so your edges will be soft. Sorry, it's hard to talk while I'm doing this. Take the darker color again, blend those edges, and here comes the bean. I don't know if you guys can see her. Sorry if you can. She's a little bitch sometimes. Some offense. Then I'll blend these colors. And then I'll take the lighter color again. This edge looks rough. It's a little dry. Since it is a little dry, I might do a bonus how to refill your markers today. And there you have it. Two different gradients. One with the colorless blender, one without. Which one do you guys like better? Let me know in the comments. Um, as always, like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.